Now we've done a bit of polishing with these um, around the sides, the strobe, well, the markings, um, yeah, pretty well polished up. Now, the top of the turntable, uh, or the platter, is in pretty good condition. It's a little bit blotchy because of, um, well, the damage it has, it had a bit of damage, water damage on it to start with, which has sort of marked it a little bit uh, under the coating of the paint that it had. But that's not going to worry this. Whoever, both these turntables will be for sale. Whoever buys these will obviously probably fit a mat, um, possibly a cork mat would be the go with these. So under here isn't going to be an extreme issue. The rest of the platter is in very, very, very good condition. Okay, so where our idler runs is very good. So, um, yeah, that's it um, for cleaning the platter. I think now we'll put this on, put it on the turntable, and then it's a matter of going through the manual step by step and setting it up as it should be. <clears throat> I, I'm not real sure what's got to be done with it yet, but yeah. We'll, we'll follow that process through. Okay, so, yeah, just a snippet of what I'm doing to this to, uh, to polish it up, a Dremel and a little buff wheel. Okay, we'll put this on the turntable and come back and start the process. Now, guys, to turn these, uh, well, to test them, uh, we need them up um, the right way. And, well, I haven't got a plinth or anything to, um, to test these. So what I'm doing here, just rubbing a little bit of insulation tape around screws, screwed into the four corners of the table itself. Now, I think that's about the right amount. I'm using a spacer, just, well, it's just a piece of tube putting it over there I'm putting the tape on because it's a it's a bit the screw is a bit small for the, the spacer pushing it on and when you push him on a well the other ones did <laughs> of course it's not going to work because the camera's watching <laughs> okay maybe the other end's different Push him over it and tap him down there. And they're nice and tight. They won't fall off when I turn the table over. I'm glad that worked. Okay. There's the theory. It works fine. And, yeah, it's a bit wobbly, but uh, we're... Just take this up a little bit there, and sorry about the camera movement, but I just wanted to show you what it's like. I'll tighten this one up now. I haven't haven't put the uh, tape on him, but while we've got it on up on the um, the spaces, we can work on this. We can set it up. We can get underneath it, um, and set him all up also got to look, do a bit of dusting here too he's uh he's sat for a while because it's been a while since we've got back onto this okay um i'll tighten this leg up and we'll put the platter on and well we've got our power cord as you probably saw in the previous video we've got the power cord and we'll um, hook him up through the dim bulb of course and um, yeah, go from there. My audio uh, looks a little bit high. I don't know why. Yeah, this horrible little microphone. I'll just reset the audio and hopefully it comes a little bit better. If there was a little bit distorted there, sorry about that, guys. Um, time for a new mic. Okay, the audio should be back to normal. Yeah. It just needed resetting. So, which one is it? 
It's this back one here I haven't done yet. I'll do it. We'll come back. Rightio. We'll set our platter on. Now, the platter is a tapered shaft, as you can see here. So it's uh, it's an interference fit on a tapered shaft. This doesn't have any circlips or anything like that. And that looks pretty good. Looks nice. Okay, dim, it's, uh, the dim bulb is connected, the unit is off, and hence the brake is, well, attempting to be on, so uh, I don't think that's quite, uh, I suppose it'd slow it down. We've got to see uh, the brake tension in the manual anyway. Okay, he's on dim, turn him on. And there we go. And he's working nicely. Everything's working. Let's see if our speed works. And yes, it does, but it needs adjusting. It goes faster, but then uh, not quite enough on the minus. Still needs slowing down a little bit there on the... Uh, I'll give us a closer look at this in a minute anyway. Um, 45. Now, we have to stop and change and then go to 45. And it's still... Uh, Still running a little bit fast. Okay, this fella needs adjusting, so we'll see how to do this. Because we want this fella in at centre, and it's just going backwards slightly on the strobe. Okay, we'll turn him off. We'll go to seventy-eight. Turn him back on again, and we're looking at the top one, which boy, I can't really see here at the moment. We're going to have to put the phone on this to see what our actual speed is rather than just rely on this. That's very difficult to see because I've got LED lights. They're not at 50 cycles, so very difficult. Now, the other thing I just noticed, um, yeah, we're running a little bit slow. We'll just stop him there. We'll go to our 33, turn him on, and... Yeah, he's running a little bit slow. We're still on dim bulb. And actually, he's just lighting up a little bit. So we better bypass that. That may make a difference. No, it didn't. He still needs slowing down. So, yeah, okay. Um, but always, yeah. I started it up on dim bulb. But, yeah. Always put it on power. <laughs> we'll grab the manual now. We'll go through him page by page on everything we've got to do to this baby. Okay? But at least, and yeah, the brake does work, at least everything is working, which is good. And my plinth um, doesn't get much better than that. Okay, now I thought you guys might like to uh, also grab a screenshot or, or whatever of the first page of this manual. And how about that? There you go. You can pause that and have a little bit of a read. It's better than me reading it to you. Okay, now... Yeah. We'll go to our next page. Which is all about it. And once again, you can grab a screenshot of these. Or you can download the manual from uh, Vinyl Engine, I think. This one come from vinylengine.com. Okay. So... That's a little bit about it. This is probably not the way of showing you, so I uh, should have uh, something else in place that I can put stuff on the screen, shouldn't I? Okay. 
My turns. Here we go. Okay. Now, we take the platter off. First up, let's do that. Okay. Now, now it says that, um, the bearings of the motor intermediate wheel, which of course is our idler, and the turntable spindle are the oil retaining type and really need lubrication. Okay, so we've done this anyway, and I mean, look at that, runs perfectly. So, um, when the need be, uh, when the need for oil becomes apparent, lift off the turntable, lubricate these bearings sparingly with oil, which we've already done. The motor must be switched off um, before removing the turntable. Yeah, well, yeah, we've sort of got it switched off. It's yeah, we'll ignore that. Um, if any difficulties experienced, blah blah blah. Okay, the top bearing of the motor can be reached through the holes in the aluminium brake disc. So we have done the motor. You saw me doing the motor bearings. So that won't need redoing. <clears throat> the top bearing of the intermediate wheel, which is the top of the idler, well, you've seen me do that on the previous video. So we won't be doing that either, but I'm just going through step by step. And the bearings on the turntable spindle. Now, this is this elusive screw that's in there. Okay. So, I lubricated by saturating the felt pad around the spindle, which we have done. And by removing the screw from the top of the housing to apply a few drops of oil through the hole which is then revealed. So we could actually do that. We haven't done that, so there will be no oil in the centre of that. So we will do that. Uh, after lubrication, it's essential to remove every trace of oil, especially from the motor pulley, intermediate wheel, and inside the turntable rim. Well, we haven't scattered oil around there at all, with any of this, so we certainly don't have to worry about that. And just further periodical um, maintenance. Um, the lever points underneath with some light grease, light oil on sliding faces. We've done the underneath of the turntable. You saw me do all that. So the only thing with our maintenance side of things now, we'll probably, and I'll bring you up closer on this one, will be to re remove the screw. I've got some Singer sewing machine oil here, just some light oil. Put, say, uh, maybe four drops in the hole, put the screw back in, make sure there's no oil around. Okay, there we go, four drops of oil. Now I'll just, um, I'll mop that up so that there's nothing left there around the top.
Okay, that's done. And if we look at our book any further, I think that's it. That's it for the maintenance, guys. And now it's time for adjustments. This will be an interesting exercise, this, because, yeah, well, we know the speed is wrong to start with. Now, guys, you can see it's, um, it's running slightly slow. Now, we can adjust this to bring him, and that would be around about right. And that actually, further we go back this way. Now, uh, something that's a little bit confusing here, that appears as though it's going fast, but we go back to the minus. If we go to the centre, well, not quite centre. It's there. If we go to plus, you would think it would go the other way, but in actual fact, it's going faster, which is making it go faster past the strobe, and it goes appears to go backwards, but it's actually that's the that's the direction of the turntable, so it's going fast. Okay, so that speeds him up. If we go back right on centre of this fella, which is where we want it, it's still slightly, ever so slightly fast. Okay, so that's what we've got to adjust. Yes, we can go back here and get it correct. That's not the point. We want it dead right in that position. Okay, let's have a look at how we do that. Okay, that's worse. Right. So he's got to go more. Clockwise. Righto, guys. Well, we're uh, we're doing a speed check there. I've just adjusted him again. This is very, very close to centre, and well, it's more or less centre from where I'm standing. Probably uh, <laughs> not from where the camera is, but he's centre and thirty-three, spot on. Look at that. Okay, now with this turntable, you've got to turn it off to change speeds because it disables the idler tyre away from the rim. So we'll go up to 45, which is our neck, our middle strobe. Okay. And let's see how this goes. And that's pretty close. In actual fact... Yeah, he's pretty well spot on. I don't know whether you can see the strobe effect there. Hopefully you can. But it's the middle one. That's pretty close. Okay, we've gone to 78, which is the top one. Now, I actually can't see that. Oh, yes, I can, slightly. Oh, gee. A little bit of a trick, but there we go. Dead on, dead on. Okay, now that says it's dead on. Let's 
Turn him off. We'll get our phone put on there and we'll do it electronically and see how the numbers match up. Now, I'll turn our lights back on there and, yeah, we'll just experiment with this and make sure the speed is spot on. This thing has to be dead right. Righto, guys, I've got my phone all set up. I'm using RPM, the app, and you just, what I've done, got an old lid, okay, of, just so it's not sitting on the spindle, put him on there, start the app, put him on there. We, uh, at the moment, I'm doing 33 on here, and I start my phone, start the turntable, and let's see what we've got for 33. Now, the strobe will tell me at the front I'm looking at spot-on strobe there and there we got 33.5 and we'll have a look at him okay so now I'll get my phone I'll take a, a screenshot of that so that we can put him up on the screen and you can see a little bit later what the wow flutter is on this fella as well. Now we'll go 45. We'll still keep that exact speed that I've got set there. So we're on 45. Start our phone. Here we go. Not bad. And the strobe is telling me it's spot on. And I've got 45.3 on there. Just wait till he locks in. We'll turn him off. And there we go. 45.32. We'll take our photo of that one. Okay. We'll reset. Now. Okay. We start our phone. Okay, here we go on 78. And if I go right, right on the exact top mark, 78.1. Yeah, she's fairly accurate, the old girl. Okay. Guys, look at that. 78.09. I will take my picture of that. Yeah, you've been running for a while there, and everything is still spot on. Now, the only other adjustments it says we've got here is the intermediate wheel height clearance. Um, well... We set it in the, well, we checked it in the previous video. It's on each speed, it is dead center of that spindle diameter of that speed. So 33 is, is right on the middle of the 33 pulley. 45, it's right in the middle of the 45 pulley. And 78 is right in the middle of it so we don't have to set it it's uh, we've checked it and it's okay the turntable brake now it says um, that's our little felt pad on the uh, right hand side there that hits against the inside of the platter when you turn it off and stops it free running now it says it should stop two to three revolutions after turning it off. Okay, now we can adjust it. It's sitting at 33. Let's see. Okay, off. And that's certainly stopping. We'll put it on 45. And we'll get him going there. 
Okay, that's on 45. Let's see how many revolutions to stop. It doesn't actually say at what speed, because obviously it takes longer to stop the higher the speed. Okay, off. Yeah, I'd say about one revolution. Okay, let's try the big 78. We'll wind him up the speed. Here we go. I can see that that's on speed. You probably can't see that on the top row, but uh, it is. Now, let's see. Off. I would say that's around about three, two and a half to three. So it says two to three revolutions. That's spot on. Power supply range. Well, that's all about our power supply, uh, 115 or, or um, 220, 250, 110, 125 on the motor. Well, at the moment, it's set at uh, 220 volts. That's all we can do there. Obviously, it's running, so there's no more adjustments. We've done our turntable speed. Um, our frequency, 50 or 60, can be altered. Um, but this is that's actually for a different turntable, not this turntable. So even though it's a 401, it, um, this arrangement here is a little bit different. All it's doing is changing the frequency of your strobe. Uh, oh, well, as, motor, as well as your motor speed. But we don't have to worry about that. Um, mounting, well, yes, that's up to you guys, when whoever buys it. And um, there's an overall. You want to take a screenshot of that one? There's an overall layout of the underneath. Okay. Um, there's a service chart, which we've done, our speeds, our wow and flutter, which we will have a look at now. And um, yeah, just compare them. We've done all our service gear here. Uh, and then it goes into our spare parts list. Guys, I'm pretty sure that this turntable is spot on. Now, yeah, it's got a bit of a, a shoddy front panel there. Uh, there's some marks on it. But overall, this is a pretty nice little little piece of gear this is there's only one thing that would make it look a little bit better and yes okay it's a garrard isn't it gerard or garrard it's a 401 yeah okay it's not a thorns but doesn't that look nice and let's not do 78 Let's do a nice slow 33. There you go, guys. Well, what a beautiful turntable. Someone, somewhere, will be pretty lucky that gets these turntables. The second one, well, it's laying here beside me. I've got to get on a wit. I've got to start uh, doing the platter, cleaning the platter up. And, um, yeah, finishing up with something like this. It's a shame about this little bit of scratches here. Someone, somewhere, will be able to replicate this. I don't have the expertise in doing this, but I'm sure someone may have a new or an as-new front panel for this. You never know what's around. Okay. So, it's turn off time. Well worth it.
well worth it. Guys, thank you so much for following along, if you have been following from the start on this. It's been a long-winded project that just gets, yeah, onto now and again. There's a lot of other things to fix. So thank you very much for following along, putting in your hours watching this, and subscribing. It helps the channel so much. And, and your likes, of course. Okay, let us know what you think. I would love to know, have you got one of these turntables? Do you know more about them, more about them than what I do, actually? Because really, this is my first one of these, um, and all of a sudden it was two. I don't know a lot about them. Leave your comments, have a chat amongst yourselves as to, yeah, who's got them, who wants them. Um, as I said, these will be sold. I don't know whether it's going to be eBay or a private sale or, or what. But if you guys know of anyone that wants them, um, let, let me know. And let me know anything I was doing wrong with the turntables. I'm just following what was in the book and common sense. Okay, guys, it's a wrap for this one. Thank you very much. and. We'll catch you down the track, another video up very, very soon. Okay, from me, bye for now.